Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Eileen with Unique Gifts and Decor by Lady Di. It's still Wednesday, you guys. It is still hump day. The day is, it's almost 5.30 here, Eastern Standard Time here in North Carolina. The day, work day, is probably over for the majority of everyone. But us basket makers, our, our day is never over, to be honest. <laughs> because if you love what you do, sometimes there is not enough um, hours in th the day for us to complete um, and kind of finish all our designs that we are working on or we try to put together. Sometimes I will put baskets together and I'll walk away and then I'll come back and make some changes and you all know how it is. <laughs> but anyway, um, it has been a good day. We were expecting a lot of rain. That never happened. The sun was shining most of the day. It was a little wind in the air. Now the sun is kind of... Um, fading back into the clouds but you know it's okay i know the temperature is supposed to drop for the rest of, for the remainder part of this week so you know it's okay as long as we don't have any snow <laughs> i'm okay all right so i just want to come back today to show you guys another concept um using these pajamas that we got from the family dollar they were in the mint green as well as in the um black um so i'm just working on different concepts using up these um pajama sets the robes and things like that give you guys ideas on things you all can use um going forward in your uh, mother's day holiday coming up or even just for a birthday or any occasion so what i have done here i started out using one of these baskets that we got from the dollar general um i think we got them they clearanced out last year, um, maybe at the end of the summer, something like that. But I got pretty many of them. I think they might have been, it was the blue, no, excuse me, it was the purple or the um, green dot. I'm not sure which one, but again, um, I've noticed with Dollar General since I've started doing these hauls and um, I really got into them starting last year about this time well really about it after valentine's day because i didn't do valentine's day last year i just started really doing my street sales and getting serious about this doing doing mother's day last year so i was um and and i guess i've gone through all four seasons to be honest because um spring um they was kind of still in the winter um when i started uh you know shopping the clearances at dollar general went through spring summer fall now back again, the winter, they're kind of um, getting back into the spring. So it's a cycle, okay? It's just a continuous cycle. But I've noticed, and I was talking to one of my girlfriends yesterday, and we was talking, um, and I've noticed with the Dollar General, you know, most of the items come back every year, um, and I kind of really wish they would have some, and they have some different things, don't get me wrong, some here and there, but the majority things that you are really looking for to kind of get again for the new year, They'll have them. I mean, um, I I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing because I like different things. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not knocking Dollar General. Um, I got a lot of things from them. But, you know, um, it's good to uh, expand and have something different. That's why it's, not, it's good not just to shop at that store. There's other stores around that you can get good uh, deals as well. Sometimes things go on sale. Sometimes cl things clearance out. But you always want to not just have one store that's your main store that you shop at because that's going to limit your um, abilities to kind of create more in your baskets or kind of give you that um, thinking out of the side of the box um, feel if you all know what I'm saying. But you all know what I mean, right? <laughs> but anyway, so let's get back to this. So this was the basket that I got, um, the pajamas as well. Now, I did use one of those um, foam boards from the dollar tree and i just put that um put the pajamas over that so that it will stand up as you all can see it's standing up really really well okay so we're going to use some items basically i got this blanket from the um dollar general you guys remember i think it was when the summer was um pretty much starting i believe they had all that for 90 percent off so i we got a bunch of those and i just put a ribbon around that so that it can um spruce it up a little bit 
this floor arrangement um i made um the other day i showed you guys in the ones on my video um the base is from the dollar general i just changed out the flowers and added some different flowers so we're just going to put that right here i also got these uh black slippers um and they were from the family dollar last year um right after the holidays the easter holiday not used to excuse me was it valentine's holiday that they had these for i think they were two dollars so i do have some left they come in pink as well as the black so we're just going to put these right here now what i did do just want to uh, fi fyi i did put some tissue paper in here so that they the form will stay in place so if that's an idea that's something that you if you're if they're not standing up the way you want to just put some tissue paper inside there and it will make a big difference. So next, I've got one of these candles again. Now these candles, and I showed you guys earlier, these candles were from the Dollar General. Remember these that had the initials on these, uh, the uh, wrapping? Well, the only thing I did, I took the wrapping off and I used some of that um, wallpaper, the pill and stick wallpaper that they have at the Dollar Tree and just ch change that out and, and change the candle. So again, I'm telling you guys again, if you see these and they go on clearance, you're like, well, I don't know anybody with A's and that's going to kind of limit, limit me in, you know, putting these in baskets. Uh, no, there is no limit. You just take the peel off, peel this off. It comes off as you all can see. And I, I need to do it better. But again, just, it peels off. It's a white candle in there and you just um, change it out. Here's another one. This is another type of wallpaper that they have at the Dollar Tree. I mean, it's the blue candle still, but it, it just doesn't have that A on it, okay? So you can um, definitely, don't pass on these candles, you guys. Next, I've got this cup that I got from, uh, the mug, excuse me, that I got from the uh, Big Lots, and it was doing their uh was it 75 percent sale doing uh valentine it might have been uh more than that but anyway they were originally 5.99 i didn't pay that but um and it, even though it has the heart on there hearts can go for mother's day too so don't limit yourself because it just has a heart on there you think it's valentine's day no mothers i'm a mother we love too so we we represent hearts okay we represent love and love represents hearts so do not pass on things like this, okay? And if it's not just for Mother's Day, you can use it for a holiday, um, birthday, you know, because you're showing somebody love and you want to let them know, hey, here it is. Now, I got this from the, um, what you call that, pop shelf? And these were during the um, Valentine's sale. I think it was 90% off. It says originally $5, but I think I paid 50 cents for this heart. So again, I'm back with my heart, you guys. So again, I'm gonna put that right there. Easy peasy. Now, I've got some of this tool, and I don't know where I got it from. I, it might have been Walmart, I'm not sure, but it's got those little uh, specks inside there. So we're just going to, instead of using shred, I'm just gonna line this basket with this tool. Um, you can use tool, you can use shred if you have any fabric. You can use fabric, but whatever your heart's desire, um, you, you can, please, you know, think outside the box. Um, a lot of this stuff I have sitting around, you know, I'm thinking instead of me using shred all the time, let's get rid of some of this other stuff. And this is where I've come up with this as well. You can line it all the way around your box, um, your basket if you like, but you kind of really want it to look full and make sure it stays in place, especially when you are wrapping it because most of the time, um, if you don't place the tool down really inside the basket, it will pop up. So you definitely wanna make sure that it's in there so it will not. So you guys, easy peasy, okay? Very easy concept. Um, and I also want to show you guys, um, this is a sidebar. I went to the Dollar Tree today, 
and of course you know I'm looking for something that I really didn't need okay Go ahead. this is my another one of my weakness you guys have y'all tried this popcorn it is the sweet and salty kettle corn this is good popcorn okay so I went to get me a couple of these because I was out but while I was in there I saw these um, and I guess these come in just for Mother's Day but these little plaques and it says stay inspired so you can put these in your baskets as well and they had this other one says amazing grateful I thought that was cute too and also you guys you know they always have the prayer cards in the Dollar Tree well look look what I found you guys they've got these words of wisdom um, it's like a flip chart and I thought it was so cute and um, see if I can get this open right quick and show you guys. Um, you know, we, we do prayer cards. I'm not, I do prayer cards, but this is something different. It's just a little flip chart. It just has word affirmations that you know what I'm saying, that you can um, flip for what you, each day, whatever. But I thought this was some, something cute that you can put in your baskets as well. It, it says Inspir inspirational words to live by. And here's another one. It's uh, the faithful reminder. And here's another one, Today I Pray. So if you wanted to design your baskets, this is a palette that you can use to design your basket if you just don't know what colors to put together. But also, you guys, they had these nice inspirational journals. This one says, do not withhold your mercy from me. And it has the, the, the uh, Bible verse, Psalms 40, uh, 11. And it's just got, a, it's a journal for you can write your thoughts in. They've got this one about patient. Yeah, we all need that, don't we? Then this one says, um, uh, talking about grace. And then they've got these that are in the packages. And this one says, listen to good advice if you want to live well. Color palette for your basket. This one is be still and know I am God. He is my God and I trust him. And this one is also saying godliness guard the path of the blameless. So these come from the Dollar Tree. If you are looking for journals, usually I get my journals from Ollie's, but I came across these and I think these are awesome, you guys. So these would be great for your Mother's Day basket. But you guys, that was just a sidebar. I meant to show you guys. Well, it wasn't a big haul that I had to go through to show you all that. But anyway, if they're coming out with new things at the Dollar Tree. So just be mindful. Walk around the store. You never know what you might see. So we're going to uh, wrap this up right quick, you guys. Um, I'm not going to shrink wrap it. I've got a cello bag. And this is a big bag, so I'm not sure what the size is. Usually my big bags are maybe 30 by 30. I know I have some, some 30 by 40. It just depends. And right now, they're not organized like I want to. So I just go in there and pick up a bag. And I did organize my ribbon, you guys. I did that. So I've got about 20 totes of ribbon. Can you all believe that? That's just ridiculous. But as I tell you guys, you can never have enough ribbon. So this is how I'm going to do this right quick here. And most of the times, I usually, like on my last video, I did uh, shrink wrap that one. And usually, I don't like to shrink wrap uh, towels or flowers and stuff. But I don't know. I'll just try something different, you guys. But usually, I don't do that. But again, it's your preference. Um, don't do, <laughs> don't mind me and my uh, antics. So sometimes I'll shrink wrap them and sometimes I don't. It just depends on how, what mood I'm in. Today I was in the shrink wrap mood using my hair dryer. I hadn't used a hair dryer in a while. So, you know. It is, it's what it is. As long as you get your basket wrapped, it does not matter what kind of bag you use. It's really your preference, you guys. I keep saying, telling you guys, put your twist on it. Some people like to use a uh, Cello more than they do the um, shrink wrap. And that's fine. It's whatever works for you. Nobody is 
the um, basket <laughs> makers police gonna tell you the right from wrong, honey. You running your own business. You are your own boss, okay? And basically, you the designer. So how's somebody gonna tell you how to design your own stuff? Really? Nope, nope, nope. So anyway, you guys, this is what it's come up with so far. Um, I also wanna um. Make sure everything's taken good before I go a little further here. But I do want to uh, mention something to you guys. In my prayer time this morning, um, God was showing me something about um, we need to be prepared and not just being prepared. I've written this down because I have a I have my own journal, you guys, and it says, "Be prepared. Focus on what is ahead of you and leave the past behind. Address." it things from your past but don't dwell on them and also talk he says forgiveness but also release people most of the time we concentrate on forgiving people yes we're supposed to do that because we kind of god says um he won't forgive us if we don't forgive others okay basically and i'm not i'm paraphrasing but y'all know the scriptures y'all find it y'all can read, look it up but again if we asking God to forgive us and we haven't forgiven our brothers or sisters, then who are we? We are, we're being hypocritical. But when we forgive somebody, sometimes we don't release them from the alt that they've done toward us. Um, yeah, everybody's been guilty. Don't, I see the halos. No halos here. I've done it. I, I say, yeah, I forgive you, but I'm done with you. And maybe, <laughs> maybe that might not be the right thing thing to do sometimes but sometimes we have our guard up where um i'm not gonna let you do this to me again that's why i basically am you still you forgive them but you're still holding it but the holy spirit told me today is eileen make sure you tell people yes forgive but you got to release that person okay and sometimes, no matter what the situation, what they've done or whatever, it's hard. I admit it, it's hard. But if you want God to increase your spiritual um, relationship with him, if you want to move further in your walk with him, we got to make sure self is correct, okay? And we cannot expect others to be and whatever. I've, I've done that. I expect others to be this and that because maybe their uh, titles or whatever they may be in this in the Christian walk, but I can only hold Eileen accountable, okay? Because God will take care of those people who have done you wrong and all kind of stuff, but we've got to release them. Now, you release them from the alt, whatever happened, but they have to earn your trust. Some people think when I forgive somebody, then I can just let them back in and it'll happen again. No, there's a difference. You can, tr you can forgive them, release them, but they've got to earn your trust. You just can't bring somebody back into your life when they have done something devastating to you. Yes, it might have altered your life, but you've got over it. And we need to get over it because we cannot expect God to bless us if we're holding stuff, okay? Forgive yourself first, okay, for allowing it to happen to you in your life. Forgive that person. Release them from whatever that they've done, okay? And that gets that off for you, okay? Because you got to take care of yourself, okay? God takes care of us, but he, we need to do the natural to help him. So it's not like he need help, but you all know what I'm saying. We just need to show him the Lord, I'm doing the natural. I'm releasing this person. I'm forgiving this person. Now you do the supernatural and fix the whole situation where the next time I walk up on that person, I see that person, there will, I, it will, it will not take over my life. Okay. So that's what just, and if they do come back and try to get back in your life, smoothly, slowly, don't just say, okay, hell, we, we best buddies again. No, okay? That person has to earn your trust. Your value is very valuable. You are very valuable to yourself, okay? Your feelings is 100% important to you. Your worth. Do you know your worth, okay? Maybe we need to talk about that later. But do you know your worth? 
Don't let nobody come back in your life and just trust them from day one. It doesn't work like that. They've got to earn you the trust. And even if you've done something to somebody, it works both ways. Come on, let's turn this, flip it, flip it, flip it. If you've done something to somebody, you should be going to them and asking them for forgiveness, okay? And if they do accept it, great. You need to earn that person's trust again. And if they don't, You've done your part, okay? As long as you've done your part, you got you got to walk away and let God handle it, okay? So, um, in saying all of that, you guys, just be mindful of the things when people say, um, "I forgive." Yeah, you can forgive, but you got to release them. There's a two part: forgive them and then release it. So here's the bow that I made. Now, guys, you all know I'm try I'm doing something crazy lately. I've got some polka dots, I've got some stripes, and I've got some solids. I don't know how this is going to look, but we're going to try this. And I already, I did it ahead of time because I wanted to talk to you guys uh, about that, um, the forgiveness thing. And I didn't want to take time in doing the bow. And I, I missed out on that because it was in my spirit that God told me to um, share that with you guys today. I know I didn't share it in my first one, but I tried to, um, don't bottle y'all down so much <laughs> with the word. But I, I love talking about Jesus. I know God is just, whoo, yeah, he's such an awesome God. And, you know, sometimes we get discouraged and different things, but he always leads me back to his word and let me know, you know, hey, share this. And as, much, as long as I take my mind off of me and try to encourage and help others, that lets me know that I'm trusting him and he's going to fix whatever that I need to be fixed in my life. Um... I was listening to Joyce Myers this morning, and she said every day we should wake up and say, Lord, I know and I'm expecting you to do something wonderful in my life today. And live with expectation. We're supposed to be living with expectation. And as soon as we get our, lock, our eyes off of ourselves, y'all, he be done work that thing out or brought something to pass. And we like, whoo, Lord, you know, I, we think it was forever We've been waiting forever, and our timing is not his time, and I have to, I have to remind myself of that, you guys, all the time. But, again, he knows best. Now, I don't know. I'm not feeling this bow. <laughs> Whew. We might have to change this. What y'all think? I mean, it's a pretty bow, but I don't know if it's going with this. I don't know. Did I make a big boo-boo here? Well, I got to marinate on this, y'all, because I'm trying to do something different because it was such a... The ribbon was so pretty. That black and white was so pretty. And I'm just... I'm just... Whew, guys, I don't know. Y'all tell me. But, again, thank you guys for watching my video. Now, again, let me know about the bow, what y'all think, because if I, I need to change... Y'all know I ain't got no problem changing the bows, but pricing this, you guys, let me know. Do you all have any of these items that you all can use? Do you all have these baskets? Um, let me know. Are you using your baskets? Have you thought about using them? But just let me know what you think. Um, and shoot me a price, you guys. You all are the bomb. I'm, I'm getting my com in the comments. I'm getting all kinds of prices. So different ranges. So, you know, just keep it flowing to me, you guys. But thank you again for watching this video. Please like, share, comment. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I'm trying to put out two to three videos a day. So, you guys, um, I'm behind on one. I, it's, we're on the third day, and I think I've got five. So, I've got one more to put out, and then I will be caught up again. But, you guys, thank you for uh, uh, putting up with me, putting up with my antics, putting up with me just chatting. Um, I'm just talking like uh, you all sitting here in my kitchen and we're just having a conversation. But again, be blessed and enjoy the rest of your evening. Bye-bye.